Usually people ask, oh, you're a chemist. I, I don't know if I want to ask, but what do you do? Not that I'll understand it, you know, but, but when you say, I'm, I'm working on diabetes, you know, I'm, I'm trying to make insulin better. They're like, oh. Amanda Petrus is a grad student at Syracuse University. Making insulin better is her PhD. She's been working on it for the last year and a half. I'm doing what I love. I, I love chemistry. And I get to come in every day and do something that hasn't been done before. What hasn't been done before is that she and fellow chemists found a new way to give insulin orally. And the results turned out positive. They tested the new compound on rats and found that their glucose levels dropped. What this says is it works, it's worth exploring. If insulin were given orally, the body would just digest it like normal food. So researchers here developed a way to take insulin and combine it with the vitamin B12. And that protects it all the way to the bloodstream. We're using the vitamin B12 pathway to let this insulin tag along for the ride. And then it goes in the fridge. This breakthrough could change the way diabetics take insulin. Their hope? No more painful injections. So it's very applicable. I, I like that it's something that will affect people if it gets to that point. So it's a big motivation to go to work. Every little bit of information that we can add to the community will help someone at some point. There's always hope somewhere. Hope, she says, could be brewing right here in this pink liquid mix. Jeremy Vaught, Syracuse University.